2, the diagram below shows point P which divides a piece of rope AB in ratio of M to N. Given that AB is 10 cm, so here this one is 10 cm and AB is 35 cm. So we see here if AB is 35 cm and you get 10 here, so this one must be 35 minus 10. So here you get 25. Right, so find the value of m and n. So here we know that m is equal to 10 and n is equal to 25. So b describe the position of point p on the rope in its relate in relation to its ratio. So now we see we can see that p is dividing point a and point b, right? Where p is here. So we know this one is 10, this one is 25. So the ratio, so we can see that P divides A and B with this one, 2 and 25. But then we can make it smaller. We can divide with two, uh, 5, right? So 10 divided with 5, we get 2. 25 divided with 5, we get 2, 5. So we can see that P divides. So P divides AB in the ratio to 5. Okay, C. If the rope is placed on the X axis of the Cartesian plane such that A is the origin and coordinates B, if this one determine the coordinates of P. So we see here, okay, so A is the origin, so basically A is 0, 0, and coordinate B is this one is 21, 0. So we can see this one is 0, 0, so basically it's a straight line, okay, determine the coordinates of so we see here so just now we know that our p divides by so the ratio is just now is 2 to 5 right so we know that this one so 2 to 5 is all the ratio so here we see the ratio is 2 plus 5 is 7. So we see here by the ratio, if we add up the ratio 2 plus 5 is 7. But you see here the distance A to B is 21. So basically 7, if you want to go up to 21, you have to multiply with 3. That means this one also need to be multiplied with 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 3 is 15. So basically P divides A to B with 6 and 15. So 0 to 21, which is 21 points. So when P here, so we know that P, this one is 6 from this one, which is 6, 0.